Okay, here's my oil burner, my waste oil burner. I used an ordinary grill, as you can see, and uh, let's look at the oil. Here I made a, I used this uh, utility bucket. It's like five gallons. And here I put a valve on here and a little transition, a piece of line, and I now have the copper line. Very simple. It goes down in here, just, I turn it on and it has a little drip. See if I can get the camera down in there and you can maybe see the drip going on in there. It's pretty crude, but it is working. Uh, see if I can get a zoom in on that. Well, anyway, it's down in there and it's just dripping into the, the, this piece. Maybe you've seen uh, grills like this. They have this uh, little pot down here, I guess you'd call it, and that's supposed to collect the ashes from this part and deposit it down there. So I thought, well, why not use it as a, a burn chamber? And it's holding up quite nicely, as you can see. Uh, I don't know if you can see the oil right there on my finger. Is it just dripping into the fire? It's very crude, but it is working. It's been burning now for about uh, a good five minutes. Uh, yes, there is smoke with this. It's because there's not enough oxygen. It's just a starting project and all. I was thinking about putting a fan in this that uh, would thus um, circulate the air <clears throat> and give it more oxygen. You can see how it gets, it, 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 it's asking for more air when I blow on it. The flame could really get good. I'll blow on it again. That's a testament that this waste oil uh, has been, it will burn, and it will burn quite nicely. Uh, I've got this just old motor oil here, and uh, it's just been dripping now into this little line down here into the grill, which obviously I won't be using it as a barbecue grill for this. Uh, it's just for a means of heat to see if this can be done. And it's working quite nicely so far. And once I get more, I modify the uh, air intake on this, it will burn much cleaner because right now it's got a lot of smoke, which I kind of anticipated burning oil because it's not getting enough uh, air. So we kind of expect that. So I'll be looking forward to getting the air uh, blower on this and uh, I'm sure it'll intensify the flame uh, a whole lot more and it'll be really intense but so far this is a simple you know starter for the oil burner that I made using an ordinary barbecue grill and uh, I can't close the lid and I'll show you what happens when I close the lid flame doesn't like it there's not enough airflow it starts coming out the bottom that's not good so we just leave it open let let the flames go where they may and uh, there it is you can see it's working quite nicely. Yeah. This again is my waste oil burner. And it's dripping along. Let's see, let's see something, something else here. Get that clip off there. Kind of, we can kind of get an idea of how much the oil is dripping. You can see how the oil is dripping in there. Maybe, yeah, see that? It's just a little drizzle and it's dripping into the burn, so-called burn chamber. So that thing wants to burn. <laughs> Watch this up here. Yeah, that really wants to take off, but it just needs more air. So far it's working okay though. Just wanted to show that. So now, turn this off. And uh, it's kind of a crude thing. I need it, obviously with a gravity drip system, we need the, uh, this part needs to be raised up some more and uh, so that the oil will have more time, uh, a better uh, flow, a uh, gravity of flow down the uh, gravity feed here. I've just got barely, and that was open, wide open, so and that's all I was getting out of it. So anyway, that's it. That's it for phase one of this project. Next, I'll be putting a blower in it, and then uh, I think it'll clear up all that smoke.